Well, we had our chat, Fede and I. Uh, I don't think either one of us are likely to convert each other, but uh, it was an extremely informative and good chat. I enjoyed every second of it. Um, and we did criticize each other. I basically said that I believe that applied antinatalism can, almost with some sort of inevitability, lead to something resembling the killing fields of democratic Campuchia or Nazi Germany. And I said, whether or not you agree with this, this is how I feel about it. And that's a pretty offensive thing to say when you think about it. But he didn't take it as an offensive thing to say, or if he did, he didn't show it. It was more like, okay, why would he say this, and let me see what would form in his mind these ideas. Now, that's something that I find is sadly lacking in this debate, is a willingness to sort of see where the other guy's head is. I think uh, Fede and I actually um, accomplished that last night. We spoke, I thought it was going to last maybe half an hour. We went on for three hours. Um, <coughs> we probably could have gone on longer. Uh, and the upshot of that is probably going to be that uh, <laughs> it's going to be di difficult for anyone to see the whole thing because I don't know how you would upload something that long or um, whether or not anyone would really be interested in uh, watching something that long, but I think that uh, this was sort of a conversation that was waiting to happen for a very long period of time, so it just got a lot bigger and branched out a lot further than uh, either of us had anticipated. So it's all in his hands. I don't. I didn't record anything, so <laughs> if this is going to get published, it's up to him to slice it up or whatever, and that's a lot of work. It's three hours to go through. Um, but uh, he was critical of me, too, but I believe that he was sincere in his criticism. You don't have to be constructive in one's criticism. As long as you're sincere in your criticism, as long as you're not just trying to insult somebody, uh, criticism is good, even negative criticism. Um, I'll let him repeat what, uh, how he criticized me. Um, but um, the, I, I suppose it's obvious the main one was when I used the C word, cult. Uh, I defended my position on that, and uh, I understand that that's uh, going to lose me a lot of... Uh, I don't know, a lot of the moral high ground, but uh, you know, again, what if I sincerely believe that that's the case? What if it's not me taking cheap shots? What if I actually believe this? I assume that my critics sincerely believe what they say about me. I, there's, really no, there's really no other way to, to approach these sorts of things without simply getting into a shouting match. If someone says something that they don't, that, that, about you that, that is a criticism, the only thing you can rationally do and if you're attempting to actually accomplish something in a discussion is assume the other person is sincere. So <clears throat> I had to, I, you know, I, I, this was pointed out to me that, what I, that certain of my views were very potentially offensive, <clears throat> even somewhat, I don't know. Again, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but somewhat sort of unsavory or disgusting, which is entirely possible. I don't know. But it, it wasn't, the discussion didn't take the, the form of you jerk, you idiot, or anything like that. You can actually bring to other people's attention certain things, certain impressions that they give off without having to resort to insulting people or deliberately getting hostile. It's not an easy thing to do, but I think that both of us approach this whole thing with the determination not to do this. And it's a, <coughs> it's a discussion that needs to take place, if you ask me. Um, it needs to take place probably in every human being's life, life in all of our lives. Um, it's, it's one of those discussions, one of those philosophical points of view that can never, if you ask me, conclusively be solved. But it's one that has to take place. What do we make of uh, the fact that we're here on this, uh, in this plane of existence? <coughs> Ultimately, it may be the only question that does matter. And I think uh, Fede and I did it justice. Good luck, Fede, and uh, thank you.